Hey there guys, it's Prophet, and this is going to be a review on my own personal gun, the Tokyo Marui AK-102. You know, this is the gun that you will see me running almost 24-7, because this is currently actually my only working primary. If you're wondering, I've never seen this gun before, maybe I've only heard about it once, never really see it out in the field, it's because it's pretty much i want to say it's discontinued but it's essentially discontinued because the only place with it, i believe right now is ehobbyasia.com who has it for like 500 dollars. i was lucky enough to get this back in march i believe it was this was on some hawaiian website that power edge usa this was their last one i saw this actually in a scout the doggy uh video someone using it I was like, I need that gun because the awesome part about this gun is this. It has a uh, recoil and shock. You see, can't really tell um, on the video, but it has like a slight recoil. It's almost like uh, like a KWA MP7 or MP9, something like that. Kick is very slight, but what's cool about it is that it makes you know. A different kind of noise instead of the you know the usual AEG screech which I personally that is one of the reasons why I don't like traditional AEGs but what Tokyo Maruri did is they're like hey people do uh, electric blowback already let's actually add recoil to that and that system fucking is awesome but on the downside is that they are all sub $500 because this is $450 where I got from everywhere else, like on Red Wolf and uh, Hobby Asia, all those other places, they're around $500 to $550 when they are in stock. And I'm assuming the price is just going to go up because I haven't really seen these stocked in the last year. <laughs> so, whatever. But on to really the review of it. There's the AK-74MN, there's the AKS-74MN. Then there's the AK-102, which are the Marui's three electric blowback AKs. This one is, a, like I said, the AK-102, and that one's probably actually the rarest out of them, which its main difference is that it's a shorter barrel version. It goes to here, and it also has this cone tip flash hider, which is very unique. The real steel, on the other hand, does not use this cone tip flash hider. Now, again, what's also unique is that the mags 556 nato it's a export rifle that uses 556 rounds or i don't know what the um new ak rounds are because i know that they downgrade from the 76 2. so anyways here are the features as a select fire switch right here you know safe auto semi as a full stock which is always pretty nice you know, a traditional AK pistol grip, which can be replaced, I found out. Has either these high caps that hold 450 rounds, which are a bit straighter. And then there are the 74 round mid caps. There's no wobble with these mags. It's awesome, literally no wobble. It's it, because the mags are proprietary. Can't use traditional AK mags. Like if you try to put a G&G one in there, it will not fit. It's mainly because the uh, feeding lip right here is a bit heightened. I don't know why Marui did that, but you know, money, 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 I guess you can say. And then there are rails up in front, which is always a nice part. There are rails right here for, let's just say, flashlights, pack boxes, lasers. Rail right here, which I have attached a Vism NC Star Scope on. Then there is the bottom rail. I got my AFG on here. This AK is really nice because it's essentially a tactical AK. You know, love customizing the things. It's like having an M4 on a reliable platform since AKs quite reliable, especially even in airsoft. Yeah, I know that real steel characteristics of a rifle cannot transfer over to airsoft rifles, but honestly, the version three gearbox is a lot more sturdier, even though this does use a version nine gearbox, which I'm assuming was based off the version six, three, but whatever. Then the barrel comes around here, then you got this, it uses also AK threads and traditional threads, I will show you right now, right here, you can use the AK threads right here, and then you can use the regular threads right there. Now, AK also has traditional iron sights with this, it's adjustable for windage and elevation, which 
you don't need that in airsoft because you're going to be shooting around 150 feet with this rifle. Which also, one complaint about this rifle that I really do not like, um, the range on this thing, yes, as Marui's uh, magical hop-up on it, but the range is around 150 feet, which other airsoft rifles, you know, longer barrel airsoft rifles can shoot around you know, 180 feet as upgrade, maybe 200. Now, this gun is extremely accurate. It doesn't have a type or in it, it's completely stock. It is extremely accurate. Now, anyone within 150 feet, if you aim and shoot on a general direction towards his figure, you will most likely hit him. Um, I recommend .28s or .25s in this rifle. .28s don't go as far. I believe .25s would probably be the better alternative, but I just run .28s in all my rifles, so you know, uh, your mileage might vary. Yes, the accuracy is very up there. You can buy tight bores for these. You can buy longer barrels for these, which I would highly, highly recommend, which I'm going to do eventually down the road because Prometheus makes uh, very, very good tight bores. They make the best tight bores in the industry. The battery compartment is probably the coolest slash most annoying part of this rifle. Now, the battery, I mean, where do you think it goes? Does it go in here? No, it doesn't. That's where the recoil engine is, or the recoil system is, I believe. What you do, you get this latch, you know, the latch that you never used on your Airsoft AK before. Pick it up, that's where it is. Now, if you notice, that is really fucking small. I use this on mine. This fits perfectly. You're gonna have to get a lipo that's about two and a half inches by one and a half inch for it to fit. Lipos are only gonna fit. I know you can fit an E4 block in it, I believe, but you are not gonna get a very good fire rate. Now, as you can tell before, I'll do it again. This is on a partially charged lipo, which is a 7.4 with about 20 C's in it. Thing is, is though, this Marui motor that's inside of it is fucking awesome. Now, listen to this. So that's around 18 BBs per second, I would like to say. I don't know if it's the barrier or the gun, but this gun tends to last really long on batteries. I don't know, maybe magic wiring on Marui's part. That's pretty much it for my review. I will link any available links in the description below to buy this rifle. Because I would highly recommend it if you did have the money, if you want to spew out $500 for a rifle. I would probably say just buy a different rifle to be honest but if you do need that you know that blowback which i'm a sucker for then buy it marui does have others in their lines that all their other recoil shock rifles are usually in stock it's just really the 102s and sometimes the 74 mns that are really out of stock you know i wish that marui would probably make more parts for this or maybe prometheus because it is upgradable but parts are very proprietary so you're gonna have to spew out the cash again to upgrade it and then it just gets to the point like is it worth upgrading should i just keep it stock because maru stock guns are famous for being very very good and reliable and then for some reason once you upgrade them they just kind of become like any other eg and just break that's from my experience that's from what i've heard from other experiences on airsoft forums like I researched the hell out of this gun after I actually bought it, but thanks for watching, guys. Now, if you're used to watching me on that IX Profit channel, YouTube deleted it, sadly. And this will be my new permanent residency. It was an old channel I used back in the day when I used to do Call of Duty commentaries. If you would like to, you know, if you like Airsoft videos, definitely subscribe. Don't like Airsoft videos and like my video game videos, probably don't want to watch. That's it, guys. This is Profit. I'm signing out. Later.